I like Clark Lee a great deal. This is dumb and it's overdoing it. Clark Lee has removed jersey numbers from the roster. Uh, the updated football team's official roster this week uh, lists names, but no numbers uh, to correlate where they're going to be uh, on your roster numerically uh, as camp opens across the SEC. Uh, Lee's quote, um, we are going to earn everything in this program until we understand that we rent those numbers. We don't own them until we're ready to work within them. Leave them better for the next person to wear them. That will come. I don't want to put a timeline on it as to when he's going to assign numbers. I like earn everything, but you, you can't do it with numbers. Numbers aren't a thing that you earn any more than you earn your, your last name. Numbers are there to identify people. <laughs> And people must be identified. Listen, this isn't only a strain on, on media, and I'm not just complaining for it from, from a media perspective. How are his coaches going to know who's who? This puts a strain on your own staff and on you. And I understand you know the roster so well that you can tell this is Fred because Fred walks like that. And this is Bob because Bob, you know, tilts his head that way. Trust me, it's an extra strain on your people who have a lot more important things to strain about at Vanderbilt University regarding football. I like Clark Lee a great deal. This is dumb and it's overdoing it. Tell the players they rent the numbers and you'll be willing to take it off of them if they're not getting it done. But this starting where you've got to earn the simple idea of being identified, let's call them by their initials to start. Let's give them no names. You and you and you go over here and work with the linebackers. And I'll call you by your name after I feel you've earned it. That's the direction this heads. It's stupid. Chad, chances are Kenny Seals is going to earn his number. Yeah, Ken Seals will probably be okay. They probably <laughs> know what Ken Seals looks like when he's throwing the football. Yeah. But, I mean, for the freshman, for the walk-on guy, for the transfer coming in, for a new coaching staff to get to, get to know players, I just don't know why you create obstacles at a place ripe with obstacles. <laughs> Vandy is ripe with obstacles in the SEC. It's going to be a very difficult first year for Clark Lee, and you are being cute for cute's sake. I know that you have a reason for this, and I too like Clark Lee a lot, but I feel like you're just creating another level of difficulty for your players and your coaches. Players get to know other guys they by their numbers, too. They don't even know who too. they are, yeah. I don't know all my teammates. You're all out there matching uniforms, no number, I'm, in, I'm imagining a coach saying, hey, tall guy, come here. Hey, medium-sized guy, you come over here. What's your name again? Who are you? This is going to happen. It's impossible to know everyone by the way they're moving throughout. And maybe this is like a team-building exercise for the coaches to get to know guys and not have a crutch of a number. I just don't think the reward of doing this does not equal the problems it causes. I would get if it was this big cultural milestone and win for your program that you have to do this to implement the program that you want. I just don't think there's any planet or universe where you would have to do that to implement your culture. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.